Hello students, welcome to your English class. Welcome to your reader lesson, The Bear Story. It is written by a Swedish doctor, also a writer, Axel Month. This chapter tells us the story of a loyal bear. The bear was a pet of a lady who lived in the old manor house. It was an obedient and an amicable pet. Amicable means very friendly. And children, what are manor houses? M-A-N-O-R. Manor houses are the countryside houses, very big palatial houses with lands around it. Now, just like all the other reader lessons, this lesson also has a moral at the end that we should always react with one's eyes open rather than directly ending up with any immediate action because misunderstandings always lead to wrong decision making. So this was a little introduction. Now let's go to the summary of this chapter. Once there lived a lady in the manor house of a big forest she met a bear cub in the forest who was starving. The bear was helpless. The lady decided to help it by offering a bottle of water. The lady took a good care of the bear cub in the same way as if it was her own son. The bear was very caring and did not harm the people around. The bear story also tells us how the lady took care of the bear and with all the care and affection it needed. He was also punished for not listening to the lady. However, this punishment includes being chained for days and he did not like to be chained. He harmed no one. The children used to enjoy riding on his back. There were three mountain ponies who used to live in the stable with him. And they, were also, and they were also not scared of the bear as he visited the stable. He was a friendly bear who enjoyed catching cattle and playing with children. He had a good appetite. The cook used to feed him well. His diet did not include meat. He was fed with bread, porridge, cabbage, potatoes and turnips. He was also taught not to climb apple trees and touch the beehives. At a very young age, he used to climb the apple trees. However, he realized that it was not wise to climb up the apple tree. Rather, he waited for the apple to fall down and later he used to eat it. He also punished, he was also punished once for touching the beehive by being chained for two days. He was chained only during the night time with the dog. The lady used to visit her sister on Sundays who was on the other side of the mountain lake and did not take the bear with her to be on the safe side. One Sunday as she was walking down in the forest, the lady sensed that she was being followed by the bear and got extremely angry, angry at finding that the bear disobeyed her. There was no time to take the bear back home. She told the bear in a harsh tone to go back home and threatened him with her parasol. Parasol means the umbrella, she was the big umbrella she was carrying in her hand. The bear did not agree and seemed to disobey her. Also, the lady later realized that the bear had lost his new collar. She hit the bear with the parasol so hard that it broke into pieces. She even hurt the bear very badly. The bear opened his mouth several times as if he was wanting to convey something. After being hit by the parasol, he turned back and moved away. He stopped in between to look back at the lady but realized that she had lost sight of him. The lady in the evening returned back home. She saw that the bear was sitting in the same place for so long. She realized that the bear is feeling sorry for not obeying the lady's decision. The, she was still 
very angry and began to scold the bear and decided that he would be punished by being chained for two more days. Now hearing all this, the cook heard the conversation and came out running. She cleared the confusion by saying that the bear was sitting here all day. It was then that the, really, the lady realized that she in the forest had actually seen another bear while visiting her sister. Now children, with this we come to the end of the story. And as I had said earlier, the moral of the story is that don't take hastily actions. Now in her hastily action, she had hurt the bear in the forest. That's all. Thank you. Now you can have a good reading of the chapter yourself. Thank you. Have a nice day.